up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Today's video is a SZA inspired look. So we're doing hair, we're doing makeup. SZA has such a distinct look. Like she really doesn't look like anyone else, which I think is so cool and so dope. She does that whole no makeup makeup look like you're guessing, like, does she really have on makeup or doesn't she? Like, I, I don't know. Is she just flawless? Like, I don't know. So I decided to kind of recreate that whole no makeup makeup, I'm flawlessly bomb type of look. Her makeup is minimal and I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. And you guys already know how I feel about big hair and she rocks big hair like a boss. I love her hair so much. I've been drooling over it so for so long so I couldn't wait to do a video inspired by her. I'm loving this look. Like from the hair to the makeup, it's vibes all day long. RPG Show sent me this wig and so when I saw it I was like Oh my God, I so have to do a SZA inspired look because I've been wanting to do a look like that for so long. And normally I'm always coloring my wigs, but for this look, it, it just had to stay darker. We had to just keep it black. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about the wig later on in the video, but first we're gonna get into this makeup tutorial. So before you watch, make sure you subscribe, girl. Subscribe, like right now. All right, and if you wanna see how I got scissor you like how I did that, scissor Let's dive into the video. All right, so I'm gonna prime my skin with my Fenty Beauty Primer. I'm gonna do some color correcting, only because I feel like Sis's face is like extremely like flawless looking. And I'm trying to be on that level. So I'm just gonna, I don't need to like go deep into color correcting, but just some areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage like under my eye. And I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NC48. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm using my Lancome Tan Ito foundation. I feel like SZA skin, um, she has that whole no makeup makeup look down pat. Like her skin looks gorgeous, but you can tell she's wearing makeup, but it's not like overly done. So I don't wanna do an overly done look, but I do need some, you know, some coverage. I'm gonna apply a little of the foundation to a flat top brush. Well, I guess that wasn't a little, cause Look at that. I didn't realize how thick this foundation was. Like, I thought I would need two pumps, but clearly two pumps is too much. I bought this foundation in the summertime, last summer. So I don't feel like it's my exact match. It's looking a little, like a tinge bit tanner than like my neck, but I think we can rock with it. Hopefully I'm not giving you Oompa Loompa. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not. If I am, I apologize in advance. So foundation is on, skin is looking smooth. I'm going to highlight under my eye. Just looking at photos, I feel like Sizz's highlight just stands out. Maybe it's the way she bakes, but I just feel like it stands out. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Walnut. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. And I do under the lip to make my bottom lip look appear fuller. All right, so now that the complexion is done, I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna set my highlighted areas. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Medium Deep and I'm going to set the rest of my face with this one. I'm gonna go in with my Shea Moisture Sheer Mineral Pressed Powder in the shade Golden. I love doing this step because I love, like I'm all for the yellow cast in your eye. I don't understand what the obsession is, but I love it. So this skin seems super matte, so that's why this is a great step to just ensure the matteness of your look. I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and I'm gonna go in with the contour shade to just kinda like add color, not really sculpting my face, but just adding some shadows to my face. Okay, so before I go into like blush or anything like that, we have to have the signature SZA freckles. Her freckles are so gorgeous. Like they're, people with freckles, I just feel like, you guys are blessed. They're so gorgeous. I love freckles and like beauty marks and stuff. I have a few little beauty marks on my face, but uh, once I put my makeup on, they don't really stand out. But we're gonna allow them to stand out and create some artificial ones. I'm gonna take my Benefit Groof Proof Brow Pencil I think this might work. I'm debating whether I want to go into my ColourPop um, like brow gel or do I want to do this? I don't know. I feel like this might be too dark. Let's do the pencil. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here. 
Oh my God, I hope that this is not, I hope this is not a fail. I really do. Let me actually pull up a picture of scissors so I don't play myself. She has freckles like literally everywhere. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm just gonna like press and turn. Did I just like, they're super like faint. But I don't know if this brush is helping me or if it's playing me. I'm gonna go in with a different pencil because I feel like that one is not really doing anything really. Maybe I shouldn't have applied my powder first. I literally don't know what I'm doing right now, y'all. No, that's not right. I'm gonna take the brow pencil and dip it into the gel and then see what that does. Cause right now I'm looking really, really crazy. And on her face, some of her freckles are more intense than others. So I'm trying to get that same look. You can always tell the difference when God does it and when we do it. Cause it's just, God knows what he's doing. All right, you all, so these are my faux freckles so far. Right now, I just feel like I look crazy. I feel like I look like a baked chocolate chip cookie right now, but I digress. I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I love this powder. And I'm just going to press this with my puff into my skin. And I am going on top of those freckles so that it gives it a more natural look. Not like I just put Sharpie all over my face. I'm gonna move on to my brows. Now, Sis's brows are super full, very thick, and kind of natural looking. And obviously, I am like the polar opposite of that. <laughs> my eyebrows are not full at all. So I'm gonna do my best to make them appear a little bit more full, very like groomed bushy. So it's like controlled bushiness. That's what I got from her, so I'm trying to get that same look. With these itty bitty brows, I'm just gonna stroke up with my brow pencil, like literally doing hair-like strokes to try to give that effect of like a fuller, wispy, bushy brow. I'm trying to keep a light hand at this too, so I don't go in with like super full-on dragon brows. That's how it looks to me, like a dragon. <laughs> I don't want dragon brows. So for eyes, I feel like SZA does something super simple. It's like brown eyeshadow, a little bit of shimmer, and it's all about those big wispy lashes. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 35R palette. Let's go in with this brown shade right here. I feel like she just sweeps that all across. I love that her makeup look is super just, girl, I ain't got time, let's just get it done and go. I am all about that life. I'm gonna go back into that palette and I'm gonna take a gold shade. I'm thinking maybe this one right here. Let's see what that does. And I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. I'm gonna go on with my QAF ColourPop palette and I'm gonna go into this gold shade right here. I'm gonna put that into my inner corners. Okay, so I feel like SZA has like a slight wing at the end of her eyes, so I'm gonna do that. She doesn't go all the way over, she literally just like wings the outer corner from the photos that I've seen. I'm gonna apply a little mascara to my eyes just so they're not down, they're curled up. Next, we're going into lashes. I'm using the 600 Lash by Ardell, which are super like, it's a part of their wispy collection. I really, really love these. So I'm gonna apply these. She has super wispy lashes and I think this would be a perfect kind of uh, lash to kind of get the same look. I'm gonna apply them off camera because yeah, you guys already know the struggle. I'm gonna go on with blush. This one is by MAC. It's in the shade Highlight the Truth. Next, I'm gonna highlight with my ColourPop Dew Drop Highlighter. It's so gorgeous. It's a loose highlighter powder and it looks so pretty. I'm just gonna set my face with my Basha setting spray. All right, y'all, so face is complete. I think it looks good. Next, on to hair. I have this gorgeous wig that was sent to me by RPG Show. This is their kinky unit. I love the texture. The length is 16 inches. The lace color is light brown, and the cap size that I have is a size one. The cap construction is a lace front wig, so it's not a full lace wig. It's a lace front, and what I love about the lace front is you get more hair on the unit because the tracks 
hold more hair as opposed to if it was a full lace wig. Here's the inside of the cap. As you can see, it's lace all throughout here, which is a good amount of lace. I feel like this wig mimics natural hair to a T. The texture and fullness of it is life. I wore this wig on my snap the other day and you guys were like, sis, I need the T. The wig is popping. Where'd you get it from? You would take care of this wig much like you would take care of your natural hair. So I would say maybe set it with some twists or braids to keep it elongated so it doesn't like shrink up too much. Can avoid unnecessary uh, tangling. So today what we're gonna do is, because this is a scissor inspired look, we're gonna transform this wig to give you some scissor vibes. And you guys know scissor is all about the big hair. We're just gonna transform the style and give it some like blown out curls. I think that's gonna be super cute. Maybe cut a, a bang and have that curl action in the front and then I'll be back with the completed look. to lips I'm gonna line my lips with max chestnut which is a brown liner sis's lips look super natural like she just basically wears gloss I think I want a little pinky action going on right here so I'm gonna go in with Fenty's matte Mazelle in the shade single so I'm gonna put this on and I'm just gonna put this on the center of my lips I'm gonna go in with a gloss to kind of finish the look I'm gonna use the Fenty glass bomb in the shade Fenty glow and this lip gloss is like my go-to lip gloss at the moment. All right, y'all, this is the completed look and I am in love with the hair. I'm in love with the makeup look. I think I did pretty okay when it came to nailing the whole scissor vibe. I feel like I kind of had that in the bag. I am in love with this RPG show wig. Their kinky unit, if you guys have not tried their kinky hair, this is probably a wig you need to get your hands on in 2018. Do you guys see the volume? It's soft. I love the, oh my God, you guys, I can't keep my hands out of this wig. If I wanted to like move her to the side and do something cute to the side, I can definitely do that. But for now, this bang is giving me all the action I need in life right now. I feel like if you are a girl who loves big hair and, or you want something close to your natural hair, this is definitely the wig that you need to like vibe with. What I love about this wig is the versatility. You guys saw on my snap that I wore it in its natural kinky state, but I love the fact that I can blow her out, add some curls to her, and she totally gives off a whole new feel, a whole new look. Literally looks like a whole new wig, but it's the same unit. And if I wash her, she can be bomb and curly. I could do a twist out in this wig. I can do a flexi rod out. There's so many endless like styling options that I have with this unit. But for now, she is like, she's the winner. I will leave all RPG Show's information down below. Thank you so much RPG Show for sending me this unit and sponsoring this video. And I, I, I'm just, I can't even talk right now. I love this look. It was so simple to do too. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And to ensure you don't miss out, turn on your post notifications so every time I upload, you get notified. Make sure to leave me a comment down below so that I can chat it up with you guys. And yeah, that's all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!